in the commercial dog food industry, the gold standard for proving nutritional adequacy is the successful execution of feeding trials. The manner in which these feeding trials should be conducted is um, outlined by guidelines published by uh, AFCO. AFCO is the Association of American Feed Control Officials. And in looking into the process, we learned very quickly that the normal way of executing feeding trials was not really going to work with our way of thinking. The problem with doing it uh, the AFCO way, or the traditional way I should say, is that um, usually that is done on kenneled dogs uh, in a, or a colony of dogs in a kennel or facility where they are purpose bred for testing either dog food or anything else. That we had no interest in participating in. And so we had to ask ourselves, as we do so with some frequency here at Just Food for Dogs, is there a better way? And uh, we turned to a major university here in Southern California, Cal Poly Pomona, and their animal health sciences uh, department. And we asked them, is there a better way that we can do this? Is there a way that we can do it where we're not having to use dogs that live their lives for the purpose of testing? and never get to sleep in a doggy bed or chase a doggy toy. And uh, the doctors at Cal Poly Pomona were spectacular. Uh, they took it as a real challenge. Um, we spoke with the FDA and the CVM, and we think we've determined that, to the best of our knowledge, nobody has done uh, a trial, a feeding trial, uh, like this. On many levels, this is a better way to go, uh, primarily, uh, in the sense of the animal welfare issue or the, or the point of view from the dog. The dog is owned, gets to stay home. Uh, we are doing comprehensive blood panels, both a complete blood cell count and a uh, chemistry panel to ensure that the dog is healthy. A complete uh, physical exam was done on each dog before and after the trial. And any issues that would come up, um, they were in close communication with the owners uh, during the trial. And from a dog standpoint, if there was anything wrong uh, before or after feeding the food, we should have been able to find it. In addition to the four blood parameters that AFCO requires that be measured during the trial period, uh, we took it a, a giant leap forward and we actually tested 25 blood parameters. So. Um, we were able to see a lot more data. It's a lot more data than what is required by AFCO, but we chose to do this on our own. Every dog that completed a trial with us um, passed on an individual level. There, there were no blood parameters that were deficient or low on a comprehensive uh, blood panel. Executing a feeding trial in this manner does take longer, it does cost more, and it's definitely harder. But now it's designed. Now the research has been done and now there's no reason that every dog food company can't execute the feeding trials this way. There was an opportunity to give these dogs a uh, better health. There was an opportunity to maintain these dogs at home with their owners so they had a better quality of life. Um, and really uh, we avoided the need of a facility or purpose-bred dogs um, completely. And so we answered the question, is there a better way to do this? And I think we did it better. One of the things that we've been talking about here at Just Food for Dogs is uh, now that we have commissioned Cal Poly Pomona to design this groundbreaking research, shouldn't we make it available to any other dog company that wants to use it? So officially, if any other dog food company wants to use this study, uh, this outline, uh, which also fits and works with the AFCO protocols for feeding trials, uh, they're welcome to do so. We'll make it available at no cost and no strings attached. It's just much, much healthier and friendlier to the dogs that are involved in the study.